The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Tears Among the Wheat Let both grow together unto the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Matthew 13, verse 30 In this world we shall become hopelessly perplexed, as the devil wants us to be, if we keep looking upon those things that are perplexing. For by dwelling upon them and talking of them, we become discouraged. We may create an unreal world in our own mind or picture an ideal church where the temptations of Satan no longer prompt to evil, but perfection exists only in our imagination. The world is a fallen world, and the church is a place represented by a field in which grow tares and wheat. They are to grow together unto the harvest. It is not our place to uproot the tares according to human wisdom, lest under the suggestions of Satan the wheat may be rooted up under the supposition that it is tares. The wisdom that is from above will come to him who is meek and lowly in heart, and that wisdom will not lead him to destroy, but to build up the people of God. None need air, none need to lose the golden moments of time in their short life history through seeking to weigh the imperfections of professed Christians. Not one of us has time to do this. If we know what is the manner of character Christians should develop, and yet see in others that which is inconsistent with this character, let us determine that we will firmly resist the enemy and his temptations to make us act in an inconsistent way, and say, I will not make Christ ashamed of me. I will more earnestly study the character of Christ in whom there was no imperfection, no selfishness, no spot, no stain of evil, who lived not to please and glorify himself, but to glorify God and save fallen humanity. I will not copy the defective characters of these inconsistent Christians. The mistakes that they have made shall not lead me to be like them. I will turn to the precious Savior that I may be like him. Follow the instruction of the word of God which says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus.